Once you have a clear outline for your paper and you've thought about how your quotations and thoughts fit together, you're ready to start writing. With the Citavi Assistant, you can enter references and quotations into your Word document, formatted according to the citation style you choose. A bibliography is automatically inserted at the end. To install the Assistant, open your Word document and click Insert, Get Add-ins. Search for Citavi, select Citavi Assistant, and then click Add. Next, log in with your Citavi login information. Now you're ready to start. First, assign the Citavi web project to the document by clicking the one you want to use. After that, before you get started, decide what kind of citation style you want to use. If you want to work with footnotes or with in-text citations, you can change your citation style in the settings. Just click Citation Style and search for the one you want. Select it and then click the check mark. Next, insert your categories as headings. Hover over a category and then click the wrench symbol. Here you have a few different options. By default, only the current category will be inserted. Click here and then instead select All Categories. You can include your knowledge items if you want, which is the default option. That will mean that all of your quotations are inserted at once. However, this can make your paper end up sounding like a string of one quotation after another, and that's not the best writing style. For this reason, we usually recommend unchecking this option and only inserting the categories. Click the check mark to proceed. Citavi will then insert your outline for your paper using the word heading styles. To make this a little easier to look at, you can go to the Home tab and then choose a numbered layout. Now it's time to start writing. By clicking the Chapters tab, you can view only the knowledge items and references relevant for a particular section of your paper. Here I have a few sources and one quotation. I'll double-click to insert my quotation. If I just want a citation, I can double-click to insert that as well. Now I'll click into a new chapter. Notice that the items I have available have changed. Whereas in my introduction I had three references and only one quotation, in this chapter I see four references, an idea, and several quotations, including an image quotation. First, I'll insert my idea, and then I'll continue on with a direct quotation. To insert my image quotation, I just need to double-click it. It's also possible to insert a multiple citation. So, for example, let's say we want to cite several authors on a topic. I can double-click each reference one after another, and they'll then be combined into one citation. If I don't want my citation to appear in parentheses like this, but instead I want to name the author at the beginning of the sentence, I can click Insert Advanced and select the person year format. If you ever need to change or add additional information to a citation, such as the page number, you can switch to the Citations tab. Then, click the wrench symbol that appears when you hover over the citation. Here you have a few different options for adding additional information or changing the formatting. I'll go ahead and change my page number here. When you insert different sources and quotations in this way, Citavi will automatically create a list of references at the end of your paper. As a reminder, you can change the citation style by going to the settings and choosing a new style. Make sure to click Save Changes and Format to apply it. Notice that the references are updated to match the new style. In this case, a style that uses reference numbers inserted in the order you cited them in your paper. You just learned how to write a paper using Word and the Citavi Assistant. Be sure to check out the last video in our series on how to deepen your analysis with the Citavi InVivo integration.